So I'm gonna talk about some of the most important things when it comes to the longevity of your body and on a mountain hunt situation where sometimes you're carrying your backpack to 12 to 14 days on some of these big hunts here up in the Yukon like we do. Now whether it's a, a 14 day hunt or it's a four day hunt, some of these techniques on how to climb hills and how to really last, keep just really keeping your core, keeping your legs, everything strong underneath you and being able to go the distance of the whole hunt. So a lot of those techniques really come down to how you actually climb the mountain and the most efficient way to do it. So often it gets overlooked by people who maybe don't have years of experience in the mountains and they get out into it, don't know how to walk up a hill, don't know really how to uh, attack the mountain in the most efficient way that they can. So I'm gonna give you a few tips on how I do it from years of mountaineering and also many, many sheep hunts and just how to stay the course and really be able to climb those mountains efficiently over the long term. Now I've been using trekking poles for over 25 years. Sometimes there's this common uh, misconception about trekking poles and the weakness of using them. Now, if that's the situation, you make your own decision. But what I know is with countless of trips and you know days and months in the mountains, I know the trekking poles are one of the most efficient ways to really take the weight off your hips, take the weight off your back, your legs, and really allow you to continue on those long hunts over the course of up to, you know, say 14 days. So one of the techniques I like to use when it comes to trekking poles going up and down mountains is if you're going up the mountain, shorten those poles up, make it easier for you to get underneath them and really propel yourself up the mountain and vice versa. If you're going down, lengthen them out. It really supports you on the way down and takes the pressure off your knees to really allow you to keep going throughout the long hunt. So I'm going to show you one of the techniques that I use most often when it comes to climbing big mountains and the long mountain hikes, and that's the zigzag technique. It's an efficient way to climb the mountain, keep your legs strong underneath you over a long hunt. This technique is probably the one that I use the most while climbing steep mountains. It does two things for me. It really allows me to turn and keep my whole foot on the ground which minimizes the possibility that I'm gonna slip out and take a fall. And the other thing is, it really keeps me from burning out up the mountain, keeps my heels dropped, which doesn't allow my calves to burn out, and I'll be able to continue the hunt for as long as it takes. So this technique is a two-step process. It's really just plant that foot, put the other foot in the opposite direction, and then turn and go. So it's pretty easy, it takes a little bit of practice, and once you get it down, it's really efficient. It's one of the best ways to climb a mountain. So those are some of the key factors that I use when it comes to climbing and descending mountains, really to keep me on the mountain as long as it takes to come home with the game that I'm after. So trekking poles, make sure you're not afraid to use them, extend them in and out, and that'll really help on the ups and your downs. And as far as going up mountains, Really try to keep your feet fully planted on the ground. Avoid raising your heel because that puts pressure on your calf and the zigzag technique really helps that, makes you efficient moving up those mountains to really last the whole hunt. 